Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Square Hue. So Square Hue is a nail polish subscription service and their polishes look like this. Here's the October box. This is what we're gonna talk about. My box appears to have got a little squinched in the mail, but the polishes were all safe and everything. My box is just sad looking. So they do have different subscription um, levels or quantities. There's a two quantity box, I believe, and a three. There might be more than that, but I was interested in the three, of course. This box is $21 per month, and they do always um, charge you on the same day of the month, and I think it depends on when you signed up, and then they ship it out on the first of the month. So I do pay for this box myself. They don't send it to me. Um, of course, as always on my channel, all opinions are my own, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys about everything. So each month has a different theme, and so this year they're doing um, the adventure theme, so every collection um, has to do with taking an adventure somewhere in the world. So here is the little um, card for this month, and again, it's kind of messed up because of the um, shipping, but I don't think that was Square Hue's fault. I think that it was the carrier. So the polishes this month are inspired by Gondola Venice, and on here it says 1016. There's a spot where you can swatch your colors so that you have them and you can refer to them later if you would like to. They, they list them even here what kind of finishes they are. We have a high gloss cream, another high gloss cream, and a shimmer. And on the back, they give you like a little detailed description about Venice and what you would be doing on your gondola adventure. So it's really, really cute. I've been reviewing this box, I think, for nearly six months now. And I'm actually growing in my enjoyment of this brand. I think the first couple boxes I got, I wasn't head over heels with, but since then, at least the last three boxes I've really enjoyed. So I'm really happy about that. I'm glad to see it almost feels like they're pushing themselves a little bit and trying to improve their formula, not giving us as many kind of weaker polishes that don't have a lot that you can sink their teeth into. I feel like the last three boxes have been you know, they carried a lot more weight. So I'm excited about that. I first heard about this subscription service from Bonita Juanita. I'm gonna list her name here because if you don't follow her, I think you really should. She has very high energy, she's super fun. Her channel, she of course talks about nail polish, some other things, but nail polish and planning is mostly what it is, I think. And she's just really, really fun. If you guys ever need a shot of energy, watch one of her videos. I imagine that she would be one of the coolest friends to have in real life. So anyway, go check out Juanita's channel again. It's right here, so just type that in and you can go see what her channel's about. So anyway, that's where I heard about these polishes from and I saw her review them all year last year and then I thought, well, let me try these out for myself. And I have to say, basing it off of her reviews as well, it definitely seems like they've improved. I wasn't like super impressed by them last year, to be honest, but I wanted to try them for myself. And this year, like I said, I'm growing I'm liking them more and more. So let's get into these polishes. There are three. They are very fall hued. So we have a teal with shimmer in it and that's what's on my nails today. Isn't that gorgeous? And then we have a berry shade and kind of a taupey brown shade. So let's get started. I wanna start out with the taupe brown polish. So this is called Santa Maria del Giglio. I'm really sorry if I'm gonna say that wrong. Venice is one of the places I want to go so badly. Actually, there's a lot of places in Italy that I would love to go. It's just, there's so much there. There's so much depth of the culture. There's so much depth of life there. There's such a richness in the art there as well. I mean, the architecture, there's so much, so, so, so much. So this would be an adventure that I would definitely go on versus some of the other ones that we've seen in these boxes this year. Um, so anyway, this is beautiful, you guys. I was definitely impressed. This has an easy two-coat formula. It looks just like how you think it's gonna look in the box. This gave me no application problems. I just, I was really impressed. Next up, we have this deep kind of wine berry red. It's not super berry, it's, it's kind of more burgundy. So this one's called Campo San Moise. I'm so sorry, you guys. You're just gonna laugh at me throughout this whole video. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is really gorgeous. This color is something I'm loving for fall. I could have definitely included this in my top fall polishes. This color is just something I'm really, really into right now and the formula did not let me down. It has a great two coat formula. It applies super easily. I really enjoyed it. Last up, we've got the polish with some shimmer in it and this one, let's see if I can get it, is called Canal Grande or Grande. <laughs> That one was the easiest one and I probably still messed it up. 
This is a deepened teal. Just look how beautiful. It applies so nicely in two coats. The shimmer is pretty strong. You can see it while you're wearing the polish, which is always nice and it had a great formula. I mean, all around this box was a total win. I'm really in love with this kind of shade as well. A deep teal for fall is just perfect. And then they give this one a little bit of shimmer. So this one of these polishes has a little bit of bling. So definitely enjoyed this one as well. Overall, you guys, this box was such a hit. I'm not really trying to sell you on this product or anything. I just really enjoy it. If you want to check out the subscription service for yourself, you can. I always link that in the description bar below. And one of the really nice things about this, ser this subscription service is the company donates a portion of their proceeds to stopping human trafficking. So I'm glad that I'm enjoying polish every month and some of my money is going to support that cause and ending that violence and that abuse. So um, yeah, overall nothing bad to say about these polishes. They were super. So I think that's going to conclude my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you've never tried the brand from what I have tried so far, I definitely recommend. I guess if you kind of total it up, these are about $7 a piece, but then I'm not paying any shipping either. So the $21 is kind of the shipping and the polishes. So they're probably like $5 a piece and I would say they're definitely worth it. So that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for spending summer with me. I love you guys. I will see you back for my next video. Bye suspected that their darker polishes might be a little bit better and that is the case. So this is gorgeous. It goes on beautifully. It's completely opaque in two coats. It's really, really nice. So I definitely recommend. They say $5 on the back, but I think I got them three, four, 10 or something. So 